How did folk come to be? The I very beginning knew you were going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a bit and of look at that. A one. bit of a long story. Tonight is the night of folk in the woods. <laughs> look at all you beautiful freaking people. Happy folk, everybody. Look at this crowd. It's amazing. I love it. In the middle of the woods of Jeddo, Michigan, the local art community gathers for the last time to celebrate Folk in the Woods. Donation. Okay, so that's for you two. Both days? Yes, I will ma'am. get you a wristband. Thank you. A boudra. A weekend of arts, camping, uh, and music. Amanda, are you in a band? Uh, kind of, maybe. Are, are you any good? crowd begins to arrive. Sad. Yes! That is so sick! God, dude. Where'd you so get that? Right now. Where'd you get that? In round two? Dicks. Dicks. Oh, what? Oh. Ah! <laughs> I knew it was coming, I could tell. <laughs> Chris, you're the only person that brought in a guitar. I didn't hear you. Good work. I don't know. Oh, really? <laughs> no, nobody else brought one, dude. Believe it or not, there's no other guitar. Where are we getting close to you, though. We've got an hour and a half before music's supposed to start. So. It's supposed to start or yeah. sound check? It's supposed to start. At 40 minutes before. What the fuck? <laughs> there's this here? No. Why wouldn't there be? I think this will be my fourth year, I think. I mean, Connie's been doing it for like fucking 20 plus years. Made it open to the public because it was just getting like a big thing, but I'm getting a little too big. Okay. Joey Mikowski told me one time, we were just sitting in the gazebo having a beer, and I he's going through this list of things he wants to do before folk. I just looked at him and said, dude, why on earth do you work so hard at this? And he just looks at me and goes, baby, because it's our gig. It's our party. I went, okay. It's your party. Oh, the wild. Folk in the woods is a good fucking thing. It's cool. We had a lot, of, a lot of good people coming out here to help. Well, just fix it, man. I mean, they, he put it up. I can't go up there. It was one of Joey's buddies. They, they did a, so fix whatever you it's want. It's about to start any minute now, which means all the people that are on the outskirts in their campsites and stuff, you just see them coming through the woods like yeah. zombies. <laughs> so here they come. Just drawn to the music. The man in my head, he just won't stop, won't stop. He keeps talking and he won't stop, won't stop. He tells me things that I just don't think are right. It goes on and on, day and night, an enemy I can't fight.
why do you do folk? Why do you put it on every year with how much it takes out? Because I am insane. Absolutely insane. I don't know why. 17 years, and I used to say 44 concerts, but uh, Katie reminded me the other day, um, lady, you forgot about your own wedding. It's 45 concerts we've done out here. I just remember Connie coming out there going, what do you do? And she was like, I play some drums. And she's like, so what do you do, baby? And I'm like, uh, I don't know yet, Connie. She's like, you need to figure that out, boy. And I think about that like all the time. <laughs> like, I just, I don't know. She, uh, she inspired me in just like that little short conversation of just like, you're right. Just finding your tune, finding your tune. And uh, ever since then, every time I come out here, Connie is treating me like a freaking son. Not looking too, uh, too, too bright up there. Um, yeah. What was the wind going? I think it's going that way. Okay. So I think it might miss us, Fingers but we'll crossed. see. Because yeah, it's looking like we might just get that. Yep. Hopefully. I don't know. Either way, we're prepared for it. Lights out. Showtime. All right, since you asked us, uh, my drummer is 18. My bass player is kind of an old man, he's 20. I'm the young one, I'm 14, so.
I'm Cameron Green from Perception. We just got done playing our set here at uh, Folk in the Woods. It was awesome. It was a great audience. It's a really good show. I, I don't know. I'd like to thank Connie and Sean for putting it all on, and uh, I'm honored to be here. I really am. Thank you all. Prepare yourself to be absolutely amazed, amused, and you know, entertained. I, I've told people all over the state that we're visiting all the time and everything. There's nothing like this port here on Creative Community, man. This is awesome stuff. These guys have such electricity between them, and they feed off each other like you would not believe, and they take rock and roll to a whole nother level because it's mixed in with bluegrass and blues and country, a little bit of everything, and it all comes right straight from their souls. Put your hands together, please, for the Gasoline Gypsies! We were 16 She looked a lot like Dawn Machine with blue that could take anywhere to look Why's it going nowhere But home with me yeah. She had those eyes Trying to make you feel hypnotized Well, she stared at me And I saw what I wanted to see yeah. Why's it going nowhere But home with me yeah. What's your story? Baby, what's your plan? Tell me what's your hurry? To run off with another man. Tell me, baby, what's your plan? What's your plan? We turn 18. My little drug down beauty queen with long legs, black stare. A body that could take anywhere alone. Why's it going nowhere? With home with me. She was hooked, but her soul was high. Hell bent on getting high. Oh yeah. Why's it going? Play. 
take a quick second to introduce this band. I'm up here with if you all don't know who they are already. Make some noise, everybody, for Joe Makowski on the drums. To my right, Steve Breer on the bass, everyone. started playing music in uh, middle school. I played the clarinet, actually, oddly enough. I think that Steve would know. That's like the one that's the that's easiest. The, that's you like, played yeah, that's, clarinet? Yeah. He didn't play clarinet. No, I, I played. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah, I, I did. I played like three years. I made it to the eighth grade. Um, I picked up guitar right around the age of 10 years old. I was in sixth grade. Uh, I started playing drums when... I, I had to have been seven or eight. Okay, so the first instrument uh, I started playing was guitar, and I was 15. There was a um, uh, guitar class, it was an elective at Port Huron High School, and I was geeked about it, because I'd always wanted to play an instrument for almost as long as I could remember. And so I, I got signed up for the class before I even had a guitar. <clears throat> and uh, my par- I went to my parents like that night, and I was like, oh, we gotta get me a guitar, we gotta get me a guitar. So my parents uh, finally were like, all right, whatever. And we went to the guitar store, and they bought me like a starter pack. It's like a whole box. comes with the amplifier, guitar, tuner, strap, all that crap. Just a crappy starter guitar. And um, they've even told me, too. They're like, oh, you know, we're going to buy this for him. He's not going to do anything with it. <laughs> and, you know, I love my parents. I mean, that's fine. I mean, <laughs> the type of child I was, I can see where they're coming <laughs> from. Uh, but I got the guitar and I never put it down. I started playing it and playing it and playing it. I had some friends that started playing music. And, um, so that's how I got started. And then, uh, when I switched to bass, bass is now my main instrument. I play a little bit of guitar still, but ma- uh, bass is the main thing. Um, I was kind of, I, I want to say forced into it, but we already had two guitar players in our band, Caleb and, uh, Jay Edwards in our very first band, the Stone and Lonely Riders. And so I was like, all right, fine, I'll play bass. And um, Stone and Lonely Riders. Yeah, yeah, dumbest name ever. <laughs> SLI. <laughs> SLI, yeah, bro. Yeah. Uh, but I, I picked up the bass, and uh, after a few months, I loved it, and I've loved it ever since. It's, it's my instrument, so that's what I do. Hmm. Up, folk? A lot of you guys know the words of this one. We played it at this festival a billion times, it seems like. But we love this song. We love you guys. It's only appropriate given the circumstances of the day. Seriously, guys, please sing along if you know this one. It 
Must have been a hundred reasons why I should have stood So take a seat on the riverbank Go on and get yourself a cold drink Just be yourself Cause I feel that's okay Under the weather, Felt this good in a long Shit. time. All of you, man. Holy shit. Um, so the most difficult <laughs> most difficult part of making this album was um just the time that it took to do it because we had to literally re-record the whole thing two or three times. Three, it, three oh, times three. total. We got it on the third try with yeah. Mark after Neely joined the group, and uh, yeah, it just and then uh, post production too is that the right word? Yeah, uh, you know, producing yeah. the album just took forever too, mm -hmm. just because it was um, just allocating time really. Yeah. So it just it took a while. We'd only been together as this version only about three months when we started recording. So that's right. true. Yeah, when we yeah. began recording yeah. it. So by the time we got to when we're really getting into like mastering and stuff, we noticed a lot of things that we had screwed up on. Honestly, that we hadn't. We'd only been running the songs for so long, and mm -hmm. there was parts that needed to be fixed and mixed differently and stuff like that. So. Yeah, re-recorded. Uh, just yeah, yeah, we had a, one song that we actually had to re-record, um, and. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's just, just little things that needed tweaking in the mixes that needed fixing and whatnot, so yep. it took a while. Yeah. But <laughs> we had been playing these songs for so long, and uh, we really just wanted to get the music out, and uh, we, we got to a, a product we were happy with. Hey, Caleb. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Sorry, honey, so, we got to be it. we got three minutes to midnight. We're going to play a three-minute song. We do have one three-minute song. It's a new one. One more taste. All right, All right let's do it. All right, we got one more for you guys.
Cause every time you blow into town, oh yeah, you tear my roots up again. Lightning crashes, sweet thunder sounds, oh yeah. The storm is moving in. Your time has come, oh yeah. Though it all still seems the same. Your time, your time has come now, darling. You know you're not to blame. Every time I see your face, oh yes, I lose myself again. And all I want, all I want is one more taste of your sugar. But I know that would do me in. Your time has come, oh yeah. But I will still see the same. Your time, your time has come now, so you know you will not to blame, oh no. See you there. Why so scared and all alone? I want to help you now, darling, but I, I must be moving on. Your time has come for you. But what I want to see is the same. and play me Thank you, folk in the woods, we love it all so much. Thanks for coming out. That was a brand new one called One More Taste. We can't wait to hang out with you all. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Emotions run high as the lights dim on the final Gypsy Folk performance. The county's been 
uh, probably one of the most supportive people of our music and uh, is literally one of the only reasons why we do what we do. We, she gave us a place and a, uh, a spot to grow and uh, be the Gasoline Gypsies. And, you know, we've had different lineups and things have changed, you know, crazy shit's happened, but this place has always been a constant. And uh, our band probably wouldn't be what it is if it weren't for Connie. So it's, this is a very special place. This is our family here. This, this event, um, this property, everything here is, uh, it's the reason we are the band we are. So. With the light of the campfire, the music continues into the morning. Sam Hall, it is Sam Hall. Oh, my name it is Sam Hall, and I've only got one ball, but it's better than not at all. Fuck them all, I fuck them all. Yes, it's better than not at all. Fuck them all. Well, Joe killed. And they said, they said, so they said, <laughs> so they said, they said, yes, Joe killed a man, they said, so they said, just, it's just hearsay, oh, I killed a man, they said, Christ, he bashed his bloody head, and he left him there for dead, not for her, fuck them all, I fuck them all, yes, I left him there for dead, Oh. And now they say that Joe must die. Joe must die. Oh, Joe must die. Oh, they say that Joe must die. Joe must die. I don't want to. Oh, they say that Joe must die. And they'll hang him up so high. But he'll piss right in their eye. Fuck them all. Take it. He will come. Take it. He will come. Oh, he will come. All the parts of me will come. He will come. All the parts and he will come. With his tales of kingdom come. He can shove them off his bum. Fuck them all. I fuck them all. He can shove them all. Fuck off! <laughs> oh, now the sheriff will come to, will come to, I will come to. Yes, the sheriff will come to. You really got to involve that. Will come to. Okay, so the sheriff's coming. Oh, the sheriff will come to with his motherfucking crew. They got fuck all this to do. Fuck them all, I fuck them all, they got fuck all else to do, fuck them all. Oh, my name, it is Joe Smith, and I've only got one dick. I fuck them all, yes I From my heart and from my soul, everybody who has ever even picked up a stick out here, thank you. Couldn't have happened without you. Right behind my next drum solo in the track. So you can't hear <laughs> unless you go through it and take it all apart. I can't get comfortable here. What the hell? Yeah, this, chip, this stool ain't working. I got it. You guys want to switch? I have no feet stools. You want the tall one? I don't care. I just need somewhere to put my foot. I feel like I'm going to be doing one. this the whole time. Well, you're taller than me, Neely. Yeah. So give Bob a cushion. You take you. Oh yeah, you switch with Bob. <laughs> he needs a cushion for his ass. It's not for the ass. It's for the feet. It's for the feet. He needs a cushion for his ass. Neil has shoes on. He can put his feet up there without it fucking. I gotta like stick a toe in there and pry it all in there like that. It's terrible. <laughs> Sounds like a Saturday night for you. <laughs> stick a toe in. Stick a toe in it. Pry it's it. Done. Whatever you're into. <clears throat> it's all going in the blooper reel. <laughs>